Hello everyone, Sir Monkey Shot Zabi here, back again with Fate Unlimited Blade Works. We're on episode 5, and this is my first uh, video back after I got back from holiday from Turkey. Uh, so that's why I've got like actual colour now, and I'm not a fucking pale ghost. Um, pure milk skin. <laughs> I've actually got some colour, so that's good. Um, uh, so yeah, one episode 5. Uh, last episode, um, I think it was actually confirmed that Elia was dead. Though, people did actually tell me like you know that it's it, the only reason why the story is playing out this way is because it's originally a visual novel and you know if you know visual novels generally they can like you know take you down like different routes and stuff uh, it just so happens that uh, unlimited blade works is going down the path of um or this one anyway is going down the path of uh, shiro and and rin um i believe they said that there was one for shiro and Elia. Um, and the other one is Shiro and Saber, I believe. Uh, but this one, yeah. So, so in this case, Ilya is actually dead. So great, awesome, <laughs> fuck. Um, so yeah, so Gilgamesh took the uh, the lesser Grail from her. Um, or at least what I, I I assume. I mean, I don't know what else it could possibly be. It was like a it was almost like a beating heart kind of thing. But you know, it's 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 interesting. If Ilya does act, like, does she actually have a heart then, or is her heart always good like? Or was, is her, was her heart like always a grail in a way? I don't know. It could just be a pulsating fucking, I don't know. It could be anything really. It doesn't have to be a heart. But um, but that's what it was like. Um, uh, we had Gilgamesh who said that that girl is a better vessel. I don't know which girl she is, in, she, he is talking about. I, I mean, I have to assume Sakura because that's the only like other girl that I've actually seen Gilgamesh talking with and it would you know make sense i think with being with shinji i think it just makes sense in that regard um uh, and then lancer turned up uh, and proposed an alliance with uh, shiro and rin so now they're together uh, they went off to um to where Casta and uh, all that is held up lancer is uh, taking on archer right now um, and then Shiro and Rin went on ahead to face off against Caster. Uh, and the last thing that they said was, um, or, Sh or Rin basically told Shiro about, like, you know, talking about the pendant and stuff that, um, you know, there is only one pendant. That's all I needed to tell you. And that sort of quote, that's all I need to tell you, is a bit of an odd one. Because that almost, to me, that implies that she. That maybe she is aware of sort of the plan that's going on right now, but I, I could I don't know I could be completely fucking off base. I could be completely wrong. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. But she is adamant that there is only one, and that is it. So it has to be a case of they are the like they them two pendants are the same pendant. It's just a case of because of time stuff. It's all like you know. Fucking time travel, man. Screws up everything. But yeah, um, I think that's all. So I think we're just going to get into the uh, into this next episode and see what we get. So without further ado. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> when I was away on holiday, uh, I was playing volleyball and I fucking jarred my middle finger. I don't know if you can tell, but you see how fucking fat it is? Like, the knuckle around there is like proper swollen. It's like proper fat compared to the rest of them, yeah? I was playing volleyball and like, like <laughs> I jarred it um, really bad, so... Uh, it's going to be tough to fucking write, but I'll, I'll do my I'll do my best. Um, but yeah, that was all. So let's get into this episode. See what we get. Let's go. Okay, episode five. Right, we have another another servant down, um, and and uh, and her master as well. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, at the very start there, it said that Kazuki is basically, that he was treated as inhuman. Um, that's all we got. <laughs> we didn't get, like, any real backstory other than that. <laughs> like, so, I mean, how, how do you, how do you determine, like, why, why, why would the, why would other people just treat them as inhuman? Is it, was... Is it just the fact that he lacked any emotion from the get-go? So people were like, oh my god, he's like, you know, he, he doesn't, he's clearly not a human. He doesn't really feel anything. Um, let me just fucking close this curtain a bit because it's too bright. Um, 
yeah so I, I, I don't know if, it, if it's just that or what um I mean, I figured the reason why he is so cold, uh, straight faced, nothing phases him, is I thought that would be like a result of him being treated as inhuman. You know what I mean? I thought that that would have been the case. I, I didn't think it would be like the other way. You know what I mean? Where people treat him as inhuman because he was like that in the first place. But I mean, it's the only really, it's the only um, explanation I can really come up with because. That we that's all we really got and then all of that was his objective as he never stated beforehand in the first place his, his objective was to return something to its rightful place now I, when he first said that i took it as oh well it's it was caster right I don't, but I'd almost like to think, like, at the end, like, maybe it was more himself. Like, maybe he... If he wanted to return something to its rightful place, maybe he's thought to himself, like, maybe that he wants to die. He, he thinks his rightful place is is to not be on this planet because he's not human right so maybe it's one of those things where he that's the reason why he decided to fight archer after caster had died even though you know he knew he wouldn't be able to beat him but i'm almost tempted to think that that's what it was and it wasn't necessarily anything to do with caster really um but yeah so Yeah, I had a few I had a few things when when I was wa like watching the the episode and things. Uh, Rin said like defeat Casta before the Archer and Lancer battle finishes. Now, um, I don't I didn't know in what regard they were they were thinking about. Like I mean, it was a bit of a, a sort of a struggle to figure out exactly who or how they we're going about things like i was saying that maybe rin is on it and she's known this whole time um but the diff but the fact is is that the fact that she would say like defeat caster before the archer lancer battle finishes yeah i guess that kind of removes that fact and the fact like she yeah she she never knew in the first place but i was right the, the whole time with archer going in there to betray caster i was right about that however it wasn't at the be it wasn't for Rin Shiro's sake, which is what I got wrong. Um, so the the plan was, I, I think Archer probably would have realised that knowing Rin and Shiro that they would come back, and he would use that time for, you know, Rin and Shiro to distract her so that her eyes would would not be able to see what Archer's doing. And then that would give him the perfect opportunity to strike. Um, I love the fact that he was referring to the like uh, he was referring to it as like a, a, the Trojan, like a Trojan horse kind of thing because Casta was technically what they said they called Grecian, which I don't know if that's even a, a real term. That could just be a fate term, but essentially uh, she was from Greece. So I love that because the, the the Trojan horse thing was between. Greece and Troy, right? Um, and obviously Troy used their their um, uh, it was the the Trojan horse that they got into the city and then attacked from within, essentially, right? So yeah, I like that. I like that little um, the little sort of just the nods back to history, just everything, like even the things that don't need to be included, they include it, and I like it. Um, so yeah, um, interesting enough, Lancer's master, the first time they fought, so the first fight that we actually saw, which was between Lancer and Archer, uh, he said that Lancer's master actually ordered him to return without killing Archer for some reason. Why would that be? That's an odd one, isn't it? That is an odd one. Why would that be, though? It's strange, isn't it? 
I don't know what to really make with that. Like, make about, like, uh, I just, yeah, I can't really, I don't know. But he used his, um, uh, Lancer used his uh, Noble Phantasm again, which I did, I did, spe like, specify, like, Saber was able to dodge it because uh, of her, like, sort of luck ability, right? And I think I have talked about this before. I must have talked about this, like, at the end of episode four before I went on holiday, that the, I, like, I didn't, I didn't know if it was going to be a case where would Archer be able to dodge it, but then I, but then I was like, well, he's supposed to be, a, um, like, a, a failsafe, right? They, they call him a failsafe device because he, because he is, like, a sort of an exception to the, to the, to the servant rule in that the, the failsafe devices are put there to, um, stop the stop humanity from destroying itself, right? So they 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 put Archer in there as 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 the like the Grail must have put Archer in there, knowing that whatever's about to happen could result in the at, like in destroying humanity, right? Which means that you'd have to. I mean, you could say that the, well in that case, then Archer knows exactly what's what's going to happen. Or what he needs to do in order for this to stop happening. Now the interesting thing is because I think Shiro and Archer are the same person, that it's interesting that that Archer still wants to kill Shiro, and the reason for that is because he knows what he what he himself was like, right? Now the only thing that is that is a the only thing that like is sort of like up in the air and kind of like, well, wait a minute like how does any of this make sense because time travel fucks everything up like it just makes so it just makes things so like like it just makes things makes things much harder than than um than things normally would be is if he's put in there right to essentially stop the humanity from destroying itself archer seems to have this this thing with shiro right in in which he he, which means that Archer must know exactly what Shiro is, what he's what he's planning to do, what he's already essentially done. Um, but if he was to kill Shiro, nah, actually that makes sense, doesn't it? Because in order to be a hero, like a servant summoned, you have to already have died, right? Hmm. So maybe he does actually kill him at the end of this. But then it just means it's a loop, right? Like there's all, like there's always a time loop going on, where the Shiro we know now will have to come back again, like and just do it all again, do it again, do it again, kind of thing, you know? Hmm. I do find it interesting though, like the fact that because Shiro went up against Kazuki. Um, and Kazuki was getting the better of him that essentially future Shiro came back and just had no trouble against him, you know what I mean? Like future Shiro kill, killed him but past, past couldn't, you know what I mean? It's just like a kind of like a, a nice sort of kind of, you know um, Yeah, but we also got a look at like Archer's sort of uh, one of his uh, noble phantasms Ro Ayes or I don't know how you pronounce that um, but it is essentially his his best defensive, um, his best like sort of defense, which essentially it's just like shield upon shield upon shield upon shield, right? And it still got through <laughs> uh, to some degree. Um, so yeah, it's a case of like you can't. It's 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 something that can't be dodged. The only way it can be dodged is if you yeah, like say where you have that luck ability, right? Um, other than that, like you just have to stop it getting to your heart. So you have to essentially put up a barrier in front of you. And even with as many as he had, it used all all of his all of Archer's mana in order to stop it from getting there. So that's fucking that's that's some that's deadly shit. Um, and while it's still like, I guess I guess it's I guess it's all right because it still makes the it still makes the noble phantasm still like, you know like strong and i guess it's still like you know it's still like fearful with that like in play 
But that's the that's that's the second time that he's used that and he's failed twice. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's failed both times, which, you know. Um You've got to think one of these times he's gonna be able to fucking he's gonna be able to use it and it's gonna work. Um I mean who's he gonna use it against? Because now there's a, there's only four left and there's Gilgamesh Archer, Sabre And Lancer. Like who who out of those is Lancer gonna 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 pierce with that thing? You know what I mean? I I kind of I d with it, the thing is with the noble phantasm that like that powerful. It's essentially a fucking like you know <laughs> a certain fucking hit, but like and he's used it twice and he's missed twice. So I don't want to get to the end of this. Um, show and it it have like it it hadn't been used like you know it hadn't have hit its target once. I want him, him to hit one, but I'm looking at like who's left and I'm like, who the fuck is it gonna hit? <laughs> who can it hit at this point? I mean, if Archer's whole plan, like if his whole deal is to just be there to stop the destruction of humanity, in which case the like his whole the whole point of him being there is to take out Shiro. Then maybe after he's taken out Shiro, maybe Lancer and, and Archer have that like thing, and then you know he can't do, he can't he doesn't dodge at that time, you know, because then at that point I think maybe Archer's purpose has kind of been fulfilled anyway, um, and it would be sort of like a bit poetic in the fact that that was the first battle we saw in UBW and it's the last one maybe I don't know, but then that would that would basically mean that Sabre would be out again. Uh, which you know what I mean like sh after zero you know and saying like oh but that's the thing though you know what I mean I keep saying this is like I keep because I'm thinking about this as like a like a whole story I'm not thinking about like the other routes which I kind of should be because I'm like you know because I'm thinking about it as like oh fucking hell after, after the end of zero and say about like clearly you know, saying, oh, like, I'll fucking, I'll win it next time and I'll make sure I do, you know, and so my sort of, like, um, my mind is, like, telling me, like, what, like, story-wise that, yeah, it would make sense that Sabre would fucking win and, you know, basically, um, live up to what she, um, what she was saying at the end of Zero, you know what I mean? Because then it makes, like, a complete full story, but, I mean that could I guess that would just make that would happen in uh in the visual novel in the um Shiro and Sabre route, right? But not in this one. <laughs> Which is I so I need I need to start like thinking fuck, that's so much more thinking to think about though. Just the way that I'm thinking about it. Maybe I should just separate them, right? I'll just separate them. So I'll just keep talking the way that I normally would and just think of it as a whole story. Even though I really shouldn't. But you know, it, it's just it's much easier that way, you know. Um, it's just that I don't want to fucking say about it, but I, I mean, I guess at this point, knowing that you know it's not the Shin, the Shiro and Saber route, that Saber isn't going to win. Um, Gilgamesh, I mean, <laughs> like, I just, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Gilgamesh is so fucking. Well, I mean, because here's the thing, right? Rin said earlier on in this episode that, you know, her plan was that they get Archer and, Shir and Sabre back, um, and then with Lanza, they will have the opportunity, like, they would be able to go against Gilgamesh, right? But now the case that that Archer isn't wanting to do that kind of put a, puts a wrench in that. Now, it could be, like, the start of next episode, I don't know, maybe there's a case of, like, they can convince him to take out Gilgamesh first. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a thing, right? But as of right now, that is not the case. So, if I'm looking at it right now with everything that we know, and I'm not just going on like what might happen, um, and hypotheticals and all of that, then I mean, how do you how do you not back Gilgamesh? Because he's got the he's the most fucking OP bastard <laughs> ever. Now, I would have to. Uh, you see, even with Lanza, if Lanza was to go up against Gilgamesh, right, there is nothing 
th they can't be. That I I don't think. You see, I say this, but then Gilgamesh would fucking pull out something out of the bag that would that would that would <laughs> that would mean he would just. I mean, I guess he would just have to use the chains of heaven, right? And like immediately on Lanza. Right. I guess so. I I don't think even Gilgamesh. I don't think he could pull anything out of the bag that that would be able to stop Lancer's um, Gaia Ball, right? I don't, I don't think that would be the case. So I guess Lancer would be able to take him take him down. And I mean, they're still so they're still on you know they're still um, a, like an alliance, right? So there's still that I guess. Um, I mean, here's the thing, like, Archer keeps, bo like, he keeps going on about how, like, how he's doing this because it's the, you know, he basically joins the, the one that's going to succeed, the one that's going to, you know, the winning side, essentially, right? Now, if he knows about Gilgamesh and all that, then he's got to assume that, you know, he's got, he's better, he's going to be better off joining the, like, the rest of the other servants, because literally, you could easily do that. <laughs> You could just join with with fucking with Shiro and Rin, and then you've got Saber, Lanza, and Archer himself, and Gilgamesh is the only one left. No matter how good Gilgamesh is, he's there's no way he's taking on them three. There's no way. So then, in that case, then you've got to assume that Archer. He was just saying that as a as a way because Casta was listening in, right? That's got to be it. It has to be. And that's not his original his objective. Again, like I said before, he's a fail-safe device, so his true objective will probably have to involve killing Shiro or something along those lines, you know what I mean? Like, it's a different objective. It's an objective for the sake of the world, not for the, the person, like, the the entity themselves. So, if, yeah. Um, so, yeah, at the end of the, the, the fight, between Archer and Lancer, Archer was like, huh, have you noticed that um, Casta can't pry on what we're doing anymore? And then, yeah, Lancer picked it up picked up on it immediately. Like, he didn't even have to, Archer didn't have to explain anything more than that, and Lancer was already like, oh, so that's what you're planning, <laughs> right? And then he left, and then he, and then he left. Um, it's interesting, like, Lancer's sort of what his plan was. I mean, it could have just been down to actually his master's plan, and that was what it was. Because Lanza did willingly join, like they, they took no diplomacy or anything like that. He just he just went up to Shiro and Rin and was like, "Yeah, I think I'm going to join you guys." The thing is, Rin specifically said, "Don't kill Archer," right? And then after the fight started and Rin and Shiro had left, Lanza was basically saying, "I don't have to hold back anymore. I'm going to kill you." <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I don't know what the plan was, like. If Lancer, well, Lancer was just doing it just so he could get a chance to go up against Archer, then I guess there's that. But I don't know. I mean, I have to think that that it's that it's the master behind it pulling the strings because we've still we still haven't seen her yet. I mean. I've got to assume that whoever it, whoever Lancer's master is is the smartest one out of a lot of them because we still haven't seen that yet. <laughs> it's just still like not there. Now Archer did call her a dog. I assume that's what he was referring to. He was referring to Lancer's master when he said dog. Now, um, I, I, I don't know who that could possibly be referring to. Uh. I've said before in the past how like I'm I, I try to find every reason as to why Sakura has to be a master, right? And I've said before that it's got to be Lancer, right? It has to be Lancer's master because the only other like the only other females that we've seen are not like they're not prominent enough for it to be like. I feel like because they are specifically not revealing her, that at some point it has to be a big reveal because we haven't, you know, every other master was revealed like quite a while ago. <laughs> whereas, whereas fucking, you know, we still haven't got this. So it has to be a big reveal. It's 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 going to be very anticlimactic when the reveal is somebody that we don't know. 
You know what I mean? And I feel like shit. Um, I feel like I feel like Sakura is the only one that 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 would be like ah yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Like I never figured Sakura to be like the, like you know the smart one. You know what I mean? That's not like that's not like an insult. It's just that she's very much more like she seems a bit childlike, and I think that's probably to do with the fact that she was taken away. Um, she was taken away like at a young age, and basically after that point, she never had like any family to rely on. I mean, fucking what what's his name, Zotin or Zokin or whatever the fuck, the vampire dude. Um, yeah, he's not gonna fucking pair an is he? And then you know Shinji he'll be a dickhead brother you know what I mean he's gonna have no one that, that actually you know what I mean so I feel like she's got like she still, she still has this sort of almost a bit sort of she's a bit more childlike a bit more naive so I never had a had a really pinned as somebody who, who could be smart and like someone who's staying out of the way now I guess that is just due to the fact of the way that this is telling its story um Sakura might just be on a low profile like not it might not even be in her hands even though she is the master you never know there could be someone else behind the scenes like you know to helping on um if Zoken's still alive then it might be him who knows um but you'd got you'd you'd have to assume that if that was the case then Gilgamesh and Shinji have got to be aware that that is the case you know what I mean like because they're not stupid especially well Shinji is Gilgamesh isn't though like you, can, you, you've got to assume that Gilgamesh would already be aware that that Sakura would be Lancer's master at this point. So there's, there's that up in the air. It's like, you know what I mean. But I feel like since uh, in episode four, Gilgamesh basically took the fucking Grail, the Lesser Grail, and said that that girl was a better vessel. The only one he's been talking to is Sakura. I feel like that's her part of the story. So why would she also be Lancer's master in that case? In which case, Lancer's master, I'm sure they have confirmed it's a female, right? Who the fuck? <laughs> Who is gonna be it that I'm gonna be like, what? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't fucking. I don't know. Um, uh, maybe it might be a, a like somebody comes back from zero. That'd be fucking nuts. That'd be nuts. What if it's fucking what's her name? Oh god, I'll never fucking be able to. Find it. <laughs> what if it's um? Oh, what the fuck? What? What bloody what episode was it? Uh, da, 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 da. The girl who fucking who who uh, Emia was with when they were on the island. Shirley was it Shirley? What if it's her? <laughs> That'll be nuts. I mean, I, uh, yeah, at this point, it's, it's all just fucking speculation. And I mean, whatever. We'll not go in there anymore. But anyway, yeah. So Archer. Um, came in um, did essentially what is the same as a, as a gate of Babylon so how the fuck has he gotten like what's that power all about like where's he gotten that from he said trace on right but that that that's not the that's not like the, the summoning thing right that's not the summoning magic right was that what the that, is that what they called it did they call it summon magic um a what I feel like it was but I might be fucking I might be wrong but yeah like the fact that like when Shiro does it he summoned like he has he had that other type of magic right I don't know if it wasn't summon magic it can't be it was like it was something different right but it wasn't the strengthening magic that he used that he says trace on with, right? We said trace on, and then the swords appeared. You know what I mean? So I, I, I don't know how. I don't know. Maybe he didn't have to say anything to like to summon the swords, and but he had to say something in order to strengthen them. Maybe I don't know, but um. But yeah, that's essentially just a gate of bubble on that, right? Um, except in, instead of like he's just like instead of Gilgamesh like summon them from his fucking inventory um, he, I guess he doesn't Gilgamesh doesn't have to use mana in order to like create them whereas Archer does essentially right because he creates them from scratch and then you know and then uses them um, 
but yeah. But Shiro did recognise it though, so so he's he's gonna think on that. I don't know if he's smart enough to actually figure it out, but you know, I mean, I don't think anyone would. If somebody like in in you know, if someone appeared who was like older, I I I have to assume that he doesn't he doesn't look like Shiro in any way, right? Then you know what I mean. But like, I get one of your first thoughts wouldn't be, "Oh, that's me, <laughs> that's me from the fucking future." So yeah, um. And yeah, yeah, they didn't they didn't regain their master sort of like status thing. They weren't given anything back. So, so yeah, I mean, I was I was I was figuring as much because I'm pretty sure they used up their last, um, th or at least Shiro did. I remember Shiro like using the last command thing, right? Although he did it unintentionally, I think. Um, so he had none left. But I'm I'm pretty sure Rin had one though, right? She still had one left. Um, so it just wasn't they just it just wasn't an automatic thing where it got back to her. So I guess that's it then. I guess they have to. You see, with Saber, I can see Shiro and Saber just fighting side by side without the you know because that's what Saber's like. Um, you know what I mean? She's she's incredibly loyal and and, and you know what I mean? She's she's kind that way. Um. So I can see those two just teaming up just on that basis. Um, you know, it, it's not a case of needing command spells in order to do it. Um, the only thing I would have to say is that it's not official, right? So therefore, Shiro can't, like... Like, Saber can't pull from Shiro's mana pool anymore, right? Because because they don't have the they don't have that. So they have to rely entirely on their own... Well, this is... Wait, wait, wait a minute, this is going to be fucked then. You've got to th because don't they require a master in order to stay summoned over time? Like they they're like they're on a time limit now, right? Eventually they'll not be able to um, keep like their physical form, and they'll just they'll they'll go into the fucking I don't know into the fucking void. <laughs> I don't know. They, but don't they have a certain amount of time if they don't have anyone to take any 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 mana from? They need like a, a master, right? So. Oh fuck! I don't know. Maybe there is something they can do. Maybe they can do something with them. Um, like they could do some like diplomatic um, reasoning with Archer and basically say, "Look, you're on a time limit, right? Come, you go. I'll, I'll be a master again, and then we'll do. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but uh, but yeah. So that's it. That's it. That's uh, that was it for episode five. Yeah, really good episode. Uh, and uh, yeah, we lost uh, we lost Casta and Kazuki as well. So yeah, that's going to have to be explained to um, to Ise, Is it? I think yeah, I think it's Ise. But yeah, that was also. Thank you everyone for watching. In the description below, links to certain things. Discord, get yourself over there if you want any information regarding my um, my channel and my videos and anything like that. Go over there. And also, you can come over and talk to me or the community if you wish. Um, there's also my website, sermonkusu.com. Uh, all of my shit is over there. Like all my videos and stuff like that. Uh, there's also forums where you can request shows that you want me to react to and things like that for when polls come around and stuff. So get yourself over there and become a member in order to do that. Uh, and Patreon. So I do have a Patreon. If you do want to support me, that'd be very much appreciated. There's a bunch of different tiers and rewards depending on how much you want to support me with. So there's the early access tier for five dollars a month. Give you gives you access to shows a week early uh, and gives you four episodes of Fate every single week. Though by the time this comes out on the on the pub, uh, by the time this video goes public to YouTube and everyone. It'll be a different show, so just make sure you pay attention for that. See what show that is, and you get four episodes a week for it. Uh, Ten dollars a month—that's a full length. Gives you access to my full length library. Everything I react to gets a full length. Um, Fifteen dollars exclusive tier gives you access to a bonus show I'm currently reacting to, which is Seven Deadly Sins, um, and uh, also movie reactions. Okay, so the first one uh, is going to be My Hero uh, Academia Two Heroes. Yeah, the first My, my Hero movie. Um, I'm still like debating on whether or not I'm going to make that public at some point. I may do just as a sort of like a, a teaser into the reaction thing. But yeah, that's $15, the exclusive tier. $50, that is the elite tier. So every time you pay $50, you get a choice for sure that you want me to react to. And I will react to it. It will go at the back of the list behind about seven shows. Might take me a while to get round to it. But I will do eventually. Um, but if you don't want to wait that long and you want show, your show to be reacted to next. And you want to get God here with $200. Uh, but that was it. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.